100 players who shook the cup. Shook the cup. And still, Rush in the middle, Whelan on the near side as we look. Nickel. Oh, I say, what a classic goal. Stevie Nickel. He's a one of. I don't know what his weakness was, but he had plenty of strengths. Nickel. Oh, he's hit it perfectly. Well, Stevie Nickel, I mean, oh, you know, really, we are talking an Anfield legend here. In fact, I always think in some ways it's one of the slightly sad things that he isn't a name that immediately comes to mind, but it should do, because when you, you look at what he's won, it's, it's unbelievable. You think, how could anyone not kind of mention him instantly, you know, up there with, say, you know, Dalgleish and Hansen to talk about a couple of his teammates? Steve was uh, kind of the much maligned uh, player in the team, and they had all the Scottish lads having a go with him and stuff, and to be fair, most of the time he brought it upon himself. Stevie Nicol was like uh, the funniest guy, the daftest guy I've ever met in my life, but uh, what a player. Houghton, Mike Marsh, pull behind shoulders, Nicol! Eight minutes to spare, Steve Nicol with the rescue goal. Great player at centre half or at full back, could play anywhere really, uh, kick the ball equally well with both feet. Uh, and popped up with the other vital goal now and again. Great energy. He could play full back, left back, right back, right side midfield player. In fact, he could probably play any position on the pitch. He was so versatile. Aldridge releasing Nickel on the far side. Beardsley in the middle. It's still Nickel. He's gone all the way. And that is the hat trick. What a tremendous personal performance by the Liverpool number four. He was a real character, an unbelievable character. He had uh, size 12 boots and he loved junk food. If you don't believe me, this is what Alan Hansen had to say about him. Um, Hansen said his fitness was astonishing, but dietitians will be horrified at the amount he could eat. He could eat for Britain. He and I, he met Alan Hansen, once went on a Norwegian cruise and he probably consumed more than the rest of us together. It was not unusual for him to go through six or eight packets of crisps in one go. He never carried any excess weight, hardly missed a tackle and gave the impression of being able to bomb up and down the right touch line forever. Nicely found. Good control at the end of it too. And a terrific pass for Steve Nicol. Liverpool have a third. Al Hansen again says about him, when my knee problems had taken their toll in my running, it made me feel I could light a cigar and read a newspaper to have Steve on the outside. And uh, I remember talking to some of other, Steve, uh, other of Steve's teammates and they said, oh yeah, you know, before a match he'd just sit there eating Mars bars and packets of crisps and then did his stuff on the wings. So um, I suppose the lesson from that one, don't, watch, don't, don't listen to this young kids hoping to aspire to the Premier League, is that you can eat what you like. If you're a genius and you're fit, like Steve Nicol was, then you can do whatever you want. Davish finding Rush, and now Mark Lawrenson. Missed him once more, and the header goes down, and it goes in from Steve Nicol, and that makes it three. Well, you have to say, if anybody today deserves a goal, Steve Nicol for his work down the left-hand side, particularly in the first half, does. And now, as he moved into a central position, he's there to finish off. The cross from Mark Lawrenson, wide of Southall, 3-0.